I think everything has to be with the uh, with the word respect, and because you know when you share a dressing room with the other 15, it's probably the best time of your life, the most important part of your life. You just heard how close he is, uh, he was to his friend uh, Phil Hughes, uh, who we know all what happened to him. Unfortunately, that's how relationships are built in the dressing room. You know, you still speak to someone like Anil. I just spoke to Rahul this afternoon. Uh, you know, you get in touch with Sachin, Harbhajan, you know, these are memories which will remember, which will be in your life forever. You may do a lot of things after you finish the game, but those are the best days of your life. So, uh, as long as it's with respect, I'm fine. Uh, sometimes it's important to let the world know what the true fact is. Although I can guarantee you, uh, the monkey gate story will not have its true picture in the book because <laughs> only, because only uh, Sardarji will know what Harbhajan tried to say. And I, and I bet you on that. That's my headline for tomorrow. Uh, you, can, you can call it Monkey Gate, you can call it um, Hanuman Gate or whatever gate you want. But only a Sardarji will know and I was standing next to Harbhajan Singh when he was having that word with, with uh, Andrew Simon. So I know exactly what he meant. Nonetheless, I think, I think that incident was a bit more than just the word Monkey Gate. I think it's the effects after that. The next morning at Sydney, we did not know whether we would go to Perth. We were sitting in the Mo Hotel in the morning after breakfast. Uh, everyone was angry. Anil was angry and uh, calls going on with the board. Uh, ultimately, we went on to win the Perth Test match. But uh, but in amidst all of that, you know, it was a wonderful series against Australia. You know, beating Australia in Perth, we lost in Sydney. Uh, Things turned in the session after tea on the last day. Michael Clark got a, got three wickets, I think. Uh, three wickets in that in the test match. Uh, so it, it, India Australia is always enthralling, and I hope Michael in his book I haven't read it and I will uh, brings about the competitiveness, the quality, and, and the high class of Australian cricket because they're really high quality cricket players. You know?